One of the best ways to get involved with the Chess.com community and to truly feel like you belong to the world of online chess is to join a club. On Chess.com, there are literally thousands of clubs from many different countries and with numerous goals that you can join at any time. To start, the club's homepage looks something like this, and you can search for a club if you happen to know what one of the words in the title of the club might be, or maybe just a general keyword of something you're looking for, perhaps your home country. You can also quickly find clubs that have active leaderboards going, and of course, by default, we've sorted it to show you what the most popular and active chess clubs are on the site. To join a club, maybe I click on the BK Academy of Chess, a club that I am not a part of. I go to their homepage and I can quickly request to join. To create your own club, you see the option directly there on the right side. Click Create a Club, upload your pictures, or wait on that if you don't have pictures ready. Set the club name, choose where your country is from, maybe give a quick mission statement, and depending on the goal of this chess club, you might even look at the advanced options and try to set some criteria to keep things a little more on the down low. Perhaps this is a club for just you and some of your fellow training partners to discuss material and information that you don't want other people seeing, or perhaps it's a club you tend to grow over time, but you just don't want people seeing it yet until it's truly ready. You can change the settings, of course, from anyone can join to by invite only, which is what the default will be if you uncheck this. And once again, you can set the options to be whatever you want them to be. If you ever lose your way on the website, either from our homepage where you see all of the beautiful content and most breaking chess news happening all the time, or from your own homepage, you can quickly navigate back to the club page under the share or forums icon and finding clubs. If you're using the top nav, not my favorite, I love the left side nav, of course it is also gonna be found under the under the share tab right where it needs to be with the clubs option going back to our left side nav and heading back to the index page as i collapse the menu since i'm pretty familiar with the icons one thing i wanted to show you about clubs before you go is that with our activity at your home page it's very easy to stay in touch with all the goings-ons within your club on the right side, I can quickly see if any new notes or news have been posted to any of the clubs that I moderate. As you can see, if I'm ready, maybe I'm not too worried. I've already wished Brian a happy birthday, so you'll see me close that out. Sorry, Brian. But maybe I do want to check on what's going on in the Chess TV group, as it's a very active group, and it's something that we're always interested in what the members think, so that we, make, we can make our Chess TV shows as great as possible. Scrolling down, I can see all the news items and navigate to the club homepage again if I want, quickly checking on the notes that the members are leaving most of the time, alerting fellow members of when the next shows are. And as a manager of the club, all of my options can be found on the right side from adding new members, maybe sometimes you have to ban a member, edit the club profile, and just about anything you would need to do. So once again, we hope you enjoy our clubs section of chess.com by default if you head there it's sorted by your own clubs but as you saw when we started the video you can search for any clubs create a club and do just about anything you would ever need to to build your own community and interact with the other millions of other chess enthusiasts from around the world hope you enjoyed this video let us know what you think of our tutorials here on youtube and we'll see you around on chess.com